Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie and in today's video we're going to be playing with makeup. If you haven't seen my previous videos, it's just pretty much me buying a whole bunch of makeup. I love makeup, I love colorful makeup, eyeshadows and stuff, so we're going to be playing with that today. Um, I'm going to prep my skin off camera and I'll be back when I have my skin prepped. Okay, now that I'm all moisturized, I also put this Big Boss lip balm. So the first thing I'm going to try is a primer, which I had right here. I was thinking of trying the L primer that I got of this, which is right here. So I'm debating, I'm trying to see which one would be better. I think I want to try the AOA and then I'll try this one some other time. So I'm going to try the AOA one. I really hope it's not watery because then it's no bueno. But it's like a little gel. I might need more because. Okay, wait, this kind of feels like a good prime. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if it blurs my pores. Because it's um, a pore feelings primer. So let's see if it blurs my pores. I'm not even gonna lie. This feels so good. It feels like a good quality primer. Because I have one that's like a little pricey. But I hate it. It's so watery. Like I squeeze them out and the whole bottle will come out. And it doesn't even work that good. But this one feels pretty good. My face is going to be pretty moisturized. But I give this primer a 8 out of 10. Not bad. Not the greatest, but not the worst. So I like it. Would I be reaching for this more? Probably. Love it. We're just going to see how it lasts today and how my makeup lays on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color correct which I normally color correct with concealer so I'm going to try this AOA concealer in nude. I'm also going to put some on my eyes because we're going to be playing with eyeshadow. I can't open it. Hold on. So the brush I'm going to go in with is from Beauty Creations. It doesn't really say a number. It's just a simple flat brush. I'm going to dip in this concealer to prep my eyelids. Honestly, I don't think this is that bad. Pulling it out of the pot, it seems a little dry. But let's see if it's full coverage. I also might as well just prep my whole skin with this. It's in here because I am breaking out. But I did use my little beauty blender. So we are just going to blend. I would say this is a little medium to full coverage which is not bad pretty good all right it's not the best i'd give it a 5 out of 10 because i do have better concealers in my makeup collection but this is more of a light makeup like if you're going for that no makeup look i feel like this would help you achieve it and now i am going just to set my eyes with my airspun setting powder actually no I forgot I've had well, banana powder from all oh, that powder. I don't know if y'all saw that. That was a lot of powder. But I forgot I had bad, bought banana powder from Shop Miss A, which let me get that out. So we're going to try this. It's the banana sheet. But I'm just going to get this fluffy brush. It is from e.l.f. It's a blending brush. I'm just going to tap it in the powder. So this is how I always just set my eyes. I will put concealer all over them and then I'll set my concealer with setting powder. I feel it's more blendable that way. If y'all have any good con eyeshadow prepping tips, let me know. Mm. I mean, it's not too bad. It's like a setting powder. I guess we'll see how it sets my whole face because it's just my eyelids so I can't really tell on my eyelids but I am going to be playing with four eyeshadow palettes today we're gonna be seeing I might not use all of them but I might but I wanted to play with these just because they're all colorful and pretty so I think I'm gonna go in with this ABH Nervina collection the blue one not sure if they have names for them this is oh this is volume two so i'm gonna go in with so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is called a2 it's like a greeny yellow 
And then how I just do it, I'm not blocking. I'm just gonna blend it in my crease in circular motion. Just like that. I'll be back once I blend the other side out because I'm gonna do it all on one side. So that's how I, they're looking, just see, this green yellow all over my eye. Then I'm going to go into the Morphe palette, which is Fierce Fairy Tale. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but I'm going to go in with this light green shade right here. It is called She's Bad, and I'm just going to put that right over this yellowish side, just to bring it to the more greener side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put it right on top and just blend in circular motions all the way to the inner corner. And yeah, just give it a little more neon pop of color. This is actually a really pretty color. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know if it's because I put like that neon yellow under it, but this is such a pretty green color. So that's what it's looking like. It's just like a whole bunch of bright neon. So now, I'm going to go, I kind of want to tone it down just a little bit. I'm not going to end up using the Norvina Palette Volume 1, just because it doesn't have the look I'm going for. And also, I'm not going to end up using this Barbie Palette, just because there's no greens in here either. So I'm going to go back into... The Nervina Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to get this shade right here, this green shade called B3. And I'm just gonna blend it out. Just dip it in. Always tap it off your brush for an even color. And then I'm gonna start at the end and just blend it out. Which, oh my gosh, that is so pigmented and so pretty. These this palette is very pigmented and beautiful love it yeah we're just we're not gonna put it right on top we're gonna put it slightly below so that way you can still see a hint of that yellow greenish color popping out and we're just gonna blend it so something like that i know it looks like i put it all over on my eyelid because i basically did but i'll just just wait i have a vision and we're gonna see if it comes out or not and if it doesn't then that's fine too because we're just playing with makeup so i'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye so it's looking like this which i did change my vision a little bit so now i'm gonna go in with a darker green on the outer corners of my eye more than grabbing that film and i'm gonna go back in with the morphe palette and i'm gonna use this dark green shade right here which is YH2, I'm not sure how to say that, but I'm gonna grab oh, just a tad of that green shade and put it just on the outer V of my eye, like right here, just like that. And I'm gonna blend it out, make it look cute, do the same to the other side, because it's all about just blending. And then you see how it just gives your eye that depth? That's what we're looking for. I'm not a makeup professional, but I do want to go to cosmetology school. So if I go, I am going to just vlog it and share my experience with you just in case there's someone that wants to also go to cosmetology school. Y'all know more or less what to expect. What to expect. So now I don't know if I should cut my curse or if I should just throw glitter on top. So we are going to see. I have that light green all over my eyelid, which I like it like this, so. I think I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush and get that same color she's bad and just pat that right here on my eyelid which I didn't want to cut my crease because I didn't see no point this is just an all green look which I freaking love it I love it right now then I'm gonna go get that same brush and just get whatever access that's on it and kind of just blend out that that way there's no harsh lines we're gonna do something like that which i kind of want to add glitter to it so we're gonna see if i fuck it up or not sorry we're gonna see if i mess it up i'm trying to stop cussing but you know whenever you try to stop do something 
it's just in your head and then you're like makes you want to do it so that's me right now fighting myself i have this fancy beauty highlighter in the shade trophy wife which oh in the shade trophy wife i dropped it and i broke it so i had to like push it out with my finger so it doesn't fall out so mind your business i'm gonna get the same brush and i'm kind of scared to do it so we're just gonna put this all over the light green part like that i don't know if can see. then i'm gonna go back in with this brush and i'm just gonna blend it out just like that i'm also gonna save these because i want to try to put it under my eye but you see how that looks very messy so now i'm gonna get a makeup wipe and i'm just gonna clean up the fallout from the eyeshadow which, just grab it and do that, Let's see? Should I try to do a wing liner? I wish I could do wing liners, but I'm gonna sit on doing a wing liner for a little bit. I wanna try to do one, but I know I'll fuck up my whole makeup, so we're gonna do it last. And I do apologize, sorry for this, but I forgot to show y'all this. This slipped in my shop Miss A. Huh? It's a eyeliner stamp, but it makes the heart. You see that? So cute, so pretty. Which there's a better one. So I kind of stamped it too hard where I left the ring. But this is so pretty. Should I just put a stamp right there? I think I'm just gonna put a stamp. We're just gonna put a stamp on my eyes. Here goes nothing. Is that cute or no? Or does it look dumb? Anyways. Um, now we're going to get with the face. Let's do the face. I'm excited to try these. What is that? Oh, that's from my... I'm a mess right now. But everything's just full like full. It's okay. Normally how it is when I get makeup. So I'm gonna go in with these two CC creams. Um, I'm not for sure what shape these are. They don't say them, uh, but one of them's, oh, actually I like they do say them. One soft tan and one is light medium. And we're just gonna blend them both out. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of this one. Tad bit of this one. And then we are just going to mix it together and hope for the best. Which this does not look like my shade, so I think I put too much dark. So if I look dark, you know what? Mind your business. Mind your business. I mean, it kind of blended out just a little bit. It looks like a little too yellow. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. This is like a good coverage if you want to do a soft makeup. Overall, if this was my shade, I would like them because they're like soft and light. They don't feel heavy. But since it's not my shade, I don't really like them because it's kind of making me look green. I don't know if it's just me. But in camera, it's looking green. In person, it's looking way too dark. So, But the just the formula itself, I would give these maybe a 3 out of... Not even a 5 out of 10. I'd give it a 5. Give it a solid five. Then, next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna try this contour stick in the shade Sand. I'm kinda just scared to see how it blends out, but we're just gonna try it. Then we are gonna go in with my handy dandy contour brush, which, where is it at? Where is it at? Just gonna blend this all out. 
So let's see. I kind of just like blend it in with my skin color, which it looks like, or maybe not. On camera it looks like it was there, but in person it like disappeared. A three, I'm gonna give it a three, just cause I don't like it, I had better. The foundation is throwing me off, so that could be it too. So. We're gonna try to fix this. I'm gonna get the concealer with the flat brush and we're just gonna conceal and hope for the best at this point i don't think this is savable but we're gonna see okay and now i'm just gonna blend it out because i feel like if i let it stay there it's not gonna want to blend in camera it doesn't look too bad in person i look a hot mess but you know what we're just gonna go with the flow honestly this beauty blender a1 a1 we are going to set my face which is the best part is so i'm gonna take the aoa banana brush i'm actually gonna use this just because this triangle one i need to get more and that one has my airspun foundation in it so we're just gonna set my face so if i drag it it won't stay but if i stamp it it'll go so i'm gonna go i'm gonna do my hair i'm gonna get a big old fluffy brush and i'm just gonna blend everything all out Trying to see if I like it or not. And then the axis, whenever I'm washing it, washing it, brushing it off, I just do this and then it'll all just like go through off. There's my dog. Oh, it's right there. And then, yeah. See? My concern is if I were to take a picture with the flash, will it pop? Will I look crazy? I give this a 5 out of 10 as well. I feel like if you're barely getting into makeup, this would be a good product for you. But if I'm going to stick to my airspun, never let me down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the creme or the cream creme shop bronzer. And this is in the shade Tiki Bikini. Which I'm just gonna bronze up my face because I feel I need to bring put some color back in. And this is a Morphe brush. Because in person I look super white. Which I'll put the excess on my chin and on my nose. This is actually a really pretty bronzer. I give this a 6 out of 10. Anyways. Oh my gosh, I forgot to try these. Well, since I already baked and put powder, I'm not gonna try these. Or maybe, can I try these over powder? Okay, so I'm not gonna try that just cause I don't want my powder to break apart right now. Or should I, should I just say screw it and do it? Uh, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. Oh well, let's see if this will break up foundation. It did break up my foundation just a little bit, but on camera, it doesn't look as... It looks more pigmented on camera. On camera, it looks like I'm throwing a whole bunch on. And in person, not so much. So, I'm gonna see if this is layerable. I will say though, it broke up my foundation, which is my fault. You like very light, soft, natural blush. Recommend this color is actually super pretty. I love it. I'm obsessed. I can't even lie. I give this a 7 out of 10 or no an 8 out of 10 Excuse me, 
but since I like my blush to be pigmented, I also want to throw some of this blush right on top. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom. It's a from by AOA. Just going to get some of that shade Cherry Blossom and just throw that right on top. This is actually really pretty. It's bringing out that orangey color from here. Obsessed. Love it. Like, that's so pretty. Of course, I'm just going to get the beauty blender and blend it out, make everything look not so quasi. But, like, if you love blush, go for it. I'm also going to get some bronzer and just retouch it up. Kind of blend the blush and bronzer together. Which, I give this blush, honestly, a 7 out of 10. Not bad, not the best blush I've ever tried, but it's super pigmented, they're pretty, they're blendable there, so actually I'm going to bring it up to more of an 8-ish. And this color is actually really super pretty. I never go for colors like this, I more go for like darker tone colors, but doesn't this make me look more weak? So the next thing is setting spray. I have the Locked In Makeup Oil Control Setting Spray, which I want to try this. I want to see if this is good. I see videos about it, I see people raving about it, but I want to see is it for me, you know? So normally I go in and I set my face with powder right on top of this, but we are not going to do that and we're not going to get a beauty blender. We're just going to see how it lays. Honestly, my makeup's kind of cute today. I feel very pretty. We are almost done. We just have to do my eyebrows. Covered, which this does not have a brush in it so if you don't have an eyebrow brush I would recommend getting a spoolie anyways now we're gonna try their easy brow gel in the shade clear and we're just gonna brush them on I am a sucker for a good clear brow gel just cuz um hello I don't know, I feel like nothing's on my eyebrows. I mean, it's on there. Honestly, this just feels like an oil. If you want a natural, light feeling brow gel, get this. Um, I would not recommend this actually at all. I don't feel like my eyebrows are set in place. I feel like they are just lathered with oil on it. So I give this a three. Now we are going to try the Cowgirl lip liner. I like this lip liner. I give it a eight and a half. Now actually I give it a nine. This is like super creamy and I love it. I like sh um, warm shades, mauve shades if you couldn't tell. So we're gonna just throw this ColourPop lippy stick. Oh my gosh. In the shade at Twilight right on top. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. What the? What the? I'm taking this off. I don't like it. That one scene from Monsters Inc. when that one creature guy gets his lips real plumped and pink and swollen. That's what it's giving. It's giving that vibe. That was disgusting. So now we are going to try this part juicy lip. So when I tried that, it felt like a lip gloss. We're just gonna throw some of that on. It smells like coconut oil, but yeah, I like this better than this. Anyway, so now we are going to try these eyelashes that I got from Shop Missing. You know what I just realized? I didn't buy a highlighter, so we're just gonna put on my highlighter, my lovely, gorgeous Herman Rock highlighter. Hey y'all, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, which 
I think this makeup look came out super cute. Uh, the foundation is actually looking my shade. Or am I tripping? Let me know if I'm tripping. I don't know. It came together. I feel like it was a bumpy road.